Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I'm going to pick Joe Moutinho. I call him the ferret because he can slip into places and cause trouble before opponents can react. Loves to get between the lines and, and then get his head up. A real creative force. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. We're underway. Ruben Neves. Xiao Cancelo. Forward it goes. Out to the left it goes out on the left now this is promising Pitsy now a chance to break now it's Cristiano Ronaldo gets himself into trouble and he's lost it it's a very good battle there terrific to watch Pitsy Ruben Neves and it's Xiao Moutinho. Pizzi, over to the left. A really good feat from him. Finds himself eased off the ball. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. So who's he picking out? Shooting chance! Goal! Portugal! And Portugal score first! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Portugal have an early lead. Good start. Gets into a dangerous position. Uh, needed a better pass there. João Cancelo. Pizzi. Portugal are already ahead. The perfect start. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. Oh, he's been flattened there. And the ball's come loose. He's had that put on a... He's had a goal! It's broken and the follow-up.
looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So that's two now without reply. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Mario Rui. Jean Moutinho. Portugal have scored two quick goals here and are firmly in the driving seat. 2-0 the score. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pizzi. Ruben Diaz. Jean Moutinho. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, good interception. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Hoists it forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Pizzi. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Is there any support? He might not need it. Joao Moutinho, Bruno Fernandes. And it's played forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Plays it out to the flank. Oh, managed to get it away. Ruben Diaz. Pizzi. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that's where he wants it. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Pizzi. João Cancelo. Portugal are in control here on the brink of half-time. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Mario Rui goes upfield. Keeper's got good distance on that. Ruben Diaz. Out to the right. Ruben Neves. Jean Moutinho. And it's Cancelo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Only partially clear. There is the half-time whistle. Reflections on the first half. Oh, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may need to change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Portugal go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal push.
that's the start of another 45 minutes. No reported change to either side during the break. João Cancelo goes looking. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. João Cancelo. João Moutinho. João Cancelo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, what a... He's gone for it! Aimed in towards the centre. It's good distance on it. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, nice touch. Pizzi. Deflected behind for a corner kick. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. And that's been one straight back. Portugal with this handy looking 2 0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Mario Rui. Mario Rui plays it towards the front. And try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Played in with accuracy. Ruben Diaz is there, and he can get that clear. Mario Rui. Ronaldo looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from um, from getting another. Ruben Diaz cuts it out, plays a clever pass. Pepe goes direct to the front line, just brushed off the ball there. Looks to bypass the midfield. Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz to play it forward. And he's on a charge. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Hoists it forward. Ronaldo looking to get on the end of this. Time to deliver. Oh, that is lovely footwork. And that has been cleared. Goes for goal! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Bruno Fernandes cannot be that slow, and it took the sting out of the break, and uh, a big chance wasted. So here comes the substitution. Been 
Locked away. João Cancelo. And it's Ruben Neves. Chris it's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Cristiano Ronaldo should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. Portugal are making a change now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. Portugal awarded another corner. Tries to get it clear. João Moutinho gets it back. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Right towards the front men. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Ruben Neves. Ruben Diaz with a searching ball. João Cancelo. Pepe. Forward it goes. Battles to win it back. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Gets into a dangerous position. João Cancelo. Guerrero. Pepe. Ruben Diaz drives it towards the front. Bruno Fernandes. Time added on will be two minutes. Up towards the front line. Pepe. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Portugal has looked the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Portugal simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his inputs, and from us both, good afternoon.